Morning Marines, fellow service members, distinguished guests, friends, and family of Master Sergeant Marley A. Woldridge. The Battalion Commander of Security Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Eric W. Vanderbilt, welcomes you to today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation offered by Reverend Neil Thomas, Chief Officer 4, retired. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come before you at this time with hearts full of reverence and praise. Not only that, but we come thanking you for this day, thanking you for enabling us to come and to share with Master Sergeant Woodward in his retirement. Our hearts are full of thankfulness, our hearts are full of humility, and we invite your Holy Spirit in the midst of us as we continue through this retirement ceremony. We pray for Master Sergeant Woodward and his family upon their retirement, and at the retirement, whatever endeavors that you might lead them to, we thank you for his long years of service, not only to God, but to country and to court. And we just pray that you might continue to lead him, to guide him, and continue to instill the leadership that he have learned in the court, that he might instill that wherever he might go. We thank you now for his service, and we thank you for the service of those everywhere who serve their country with humility and with thanksgiving. We thank you, we praise you. Let your Holy Spirit now dwell among us. For it is in the mighty and precious name of Jesus the Christ we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is going to be Sergeant Jeffrey R. Kettle. Tired! Attend! Huh! Present! Huh! Now taking his place in the reviewing area is the retiring officer, Lieutenant Colonel Vanderwolf. Good morning, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Order! Up! Marine to be decorated, retired in all colors. Center! March! Good morning, sir. Marine to be retired in all colors. Present. Aye, aye, sir. Present! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The retiring officer for today's ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel Garrett W. Vanderwall, will now effect the retirement. Certificate of Retirement from the Armed Forces of the United States of America. Master Sergeant Farley A. Woodridge II was transferred from this date from the United States Marine Corps to the Fleet Marine Corps Reserve after 26 years of honorable and faithful active service. On the first day of July 2024, signed Eric M. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Certificate of Appreciation. <laughs> for service in the Armed Forces of the United States of America. Master Sergeant Farley A. Woldridge II, United States Marine Corps. I extend to you my personal thanks and sincere appreciation of a grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. Your bravery and dedication in our armed forces help protect your fellow Americans during a critical moment in history when you contributed to a world of greater security and growing prosperity. Your devotion to duty, honor, and country in keeping with the long traditions of the finest military in the world, embody the American ideal of selfless service. Our nation owes you an incredible debt. Your commitment and example you set will inspire future generations to serve with pride and keep our country secure. You represent the best of our nation, and I join our fellow Americans in saluting your honorable service. I wish you happiness and success in your next chapter. Signed, Commander-in-Chief. A letter from the Commandant. Dear Master Sergeant Wooldridge, the Marine Corps has been your occupation and family for many years, and I am certain the memories, interests, and the future of the Corps will remain with you forever. Many desire to obtain your accomplished goals, but few can compare to you. You have clearly demonstrated the exceptional leadership qualities and professional contributions we seek of our senior Marines. We are proud, as you must be, of your successful career. As a teacher to young Marines, a source of wise counsel, and as an example of those soldierly virtues we so admire, you have made a mark on the Corps that will remain long after you have left our active ranks. There are many young Marines you have influenced who will carry in the same fine tradition that has always characterized the United States Marine Corps. You have my best wishes for success and good health in the years ahead. Semper Fidelis, Eric M. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps, Comrade of the Marine Corps. A letter from the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Dear Master Sergeant Wooldridge, congratulations on your retirement. I want to express my heartfelt thanks for many years of devoted service to our country and Corps. You have made tremendous contributions and sacrifices throughout your Marine Corps career, enduring through every challenge and persevering to the end. Our Corps has never been about equipment or accolades, but rather the warfighting spirit that lives deep in our Marines. Your spirit, will now live on in those you have mentored, led, and taught. Do you are you hanging up your uniform for the last time, our cloth will always be in the threads running through it. As you enter this new chapter of life and take pride in all your accomplishments, your professionalism has set the standard of excellence for your future Marines who will carry on the legacy of our Corps. My wife Andrea and I wish you continued success in all of your future endeavors. Remember to stay connected, as our collective legacy depends on you. Semper Fidelis, Carlos A. Ruiz, 20th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. At this time, Master Sergeant Wooldridge's mother, Sharon Wooldridge, will be presented with a certificate of appreciation from the commanding officer of Security Battalion. Certificate of Appreciation to Sharon Dabney Wooldridge. I wish to extend my sincere appreciation for your de dedication and sacrifice as they have not been unnoticed, and your role as a pillar of support for your son's military service deserves the utmost recognition. Throughout his journey, your unwavering commitment has been a beacon of strength 
allowing him to fulfill his duties with focus and determination. Your sacrifices have not only aided in his success, but have also contributed to the greater mission at hand. Amidst the challenges and demands of military life, you have exhibited remarkable resilience and courage, characteristics that exemplify the essence of our Marine Corps family. In embodying the values of honor, courage, and commitment, your service, both seen and unseen, is a testament to your selflessness and dedication. Your contributions have made a profound impact shaping the experiences and successes of those who serve alongside your son. Your resilience and dedication embody the spirit of Semper Fidelis. Signed 26 April 2024, GW Vanderwall, Commanding Officer, Security Battalion, Marine Corps Base Quantico. At this time, Master Sergeant's wife, Catherine Wildridge, will be presented with a certificate of appreciation from the commanding officer of Security Battalion. Certificate of Appreciation, United States of Marine Corps, to Mrs. Woldridge. I wish to extend my sincere appreciation to you for exemplary dedication, unwavering support, and profound sacrifice throughout your husband's tenured secure, tenure with Security Battalion. We extend our deepest gratitude to you. Your steadfast commitment has been instrumental in enabling your husband to fulfill his duties with utmost focus and dedication. Amidst the demands and challenges of military service, your resilience and fortitude have shown bright. Your unwavering support has not only facilitated mission success, but has also strengthened the bonds within our Marine Corps family. Your tireless efforts behind the scenes have not gone unnoticed. They have been integral to the achievements of your husband and the entire unit. Throughout this journey, you have exemplified the core values of honor, courage, and commitment, embodying the spirit of service alongside your husband. You were and will continue to be an integral member of the Marine Corps family. Thank you for your outstanding service, commitment, and support. Semper Fidelis, given this 26th day, 2024. Signed, GW Vanderwall, Eblit, Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps, Commander. As a demonstration of Master Sergeant's appreciation to his family for the years of support and sacrifices, flowers are being presented to his grandmother Evelyn, mother Sharon, wife Catherine, and his daughter Jordan. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Sergeant Wolger's mother, Sharon.
Congratulations, Father, on your retirement from the Marine Corps, and best wishes as you begin this exciting new chapter in your life. We are incredibly proud of you, and we stand beside you as you continue to write your story. Semper Fi, and may God bless you in all your endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, the retiring officer for today's ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel Vanderwolf. Thanks, Master. So, I'll say it's uh, incredibly intimidating to go after mom. Uh, but thank you. I, I honestly, you said it better than anything I could say. Uh, I'm going to give it my best shot, and I'm, I'm going to try to be short because I think he nailed it. And I know he's got a lot to say. He's a man of so many words in the office all the time. Uh, <laughs> Colonel Brooks, Sergeant Major, thank you for being here. Ben, great job. As always, you guys crush it. Marines, excellent. Wonderful job. Thank you for being out here. Couldn't have dialed up a better day for you, but I uh, appreciate your support as always. Family, friends, uh, Marines who joined us today, thank you all for coming out uh, for this glorious celebration of Nassar Woldridge. Uh, I want to... I wanna quickly tell a brief story and I hope I'm not stealing too much thunder but you know getting to learn about Mass Sergeant's story and, and sort of uh, sort of review his his legacy in the, in the service it really starts prior to that uh, and I want to make sure I touch on that a little bit so that everybody here has the opportunity to kind of understand the full picture you know as Marines we have three commitments to the country uh, the first one is to make Marines the second one is to win battles the third one is to return Marines back to their, back to America, back to their families better than we got them. In this particular case, I think you gave us a great product to start with, uh, and we did our best, but you shaped that along the way as well. And we're giving you back something that I think you had a whole lot of, of, uh, of say in along the way as well. So uh, I would say we're giving you back a better product. I think you would have got a phenomenal product regardless of his experience in the Marine Corps, but we're certainly giving you somebody back uh, who has an appreciation for the Marine Corps, for family, as you all know, uh, and for his experiences throughout the service. I'll tell you, uh, in getting to know more about his legacy prior to coming to Security Battalion, I couldn't help but thinking to myself, you know, this is the this is the Marine that movies are made about, right? And, and I'm not just saying that. Let me give you a little bit of, of why I say that. So, you know, way back in high school, Young motivator knows he wants to do military service. If you haven't seen it already in the back of the program, long lineage of, of military service in the family, uh, which is incredible. He's, he's 
he's fiercely proud of that family service. But young motivator, JROTC in high school, meets a girl, right? Um, has a calling though, joins the Marine Corps and, and becomes a Marine and, and spends the next 16 years doing God's work all around the globe, uh, supporting the service, right? Eventually circles back uh, to that same girl and in 2021 got married, right? And in 2023 added uh, adorable Jordan uh, to the family. And I can't even look over there. She's so cute, it's distracting. Uh, but, you know, it, just an absolutely incredible story. And then you go back in and you add in all the things he's done throughout the career. You know, six combat or humanitarian operations, right? Stacked in there. Uh, served in every one of the Marine Corps divisions. Served overseas. Uh, served in both Iraq and Afghanistan during our, our, our country's formidable, you know, combat years of our generation. Um, every chance the Marine Corps got when he wasn't fighting forward, they put him in a position of leadership or training. And that says something about who he is as a Marine, as a man, and the character that he demonstrates regularly, that every chance we got, we put him in front of as many other Marines as possible so that they could learn from him, myself included. He's taught me a lot in just the 12 months we've known each other. Uh, and so that, you know, that career, that, that lineage of, of combat and, and service and humanitarian support, uh, at least four MUs that I could count, five MUs, uh, that's what Marines are here for. That's what we do for the country. And he's done every bit of it along the way. There's nothing that he's missed, in my opinion, uh, throughout his career. So leaving after 26 years with a record of service that you know you should just be absolutely proud of. Uh, could not have written the script better uh, if, it, if it came from Hollywood. So you know, be, be incredibly proud of your service. I know we're all proud of you. We're all looking forward. Um, you know, to you being able to take on that next challenge in your life and and continue to build your family and, and go on and, and uh, take over the legacy that your mom's uh, started with with the business. Um, I know your dad is, is looking down and watching you as well, and, uh, and I know he's proud of you. I just figured I'd say that. I hope you don't cry. I know you're a crier. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, everyone here just absolutely could not be more proud of you. As far as the... You know, security battalion being lucky enough to catch him here at the end. I just touched briefly, right? Operations chief uh, for a battalion that is anything but standard in the Marine Corps. Uh, particularly upon his arrival, uh, where we transitioned from what was relatively a a, uh, a small, very niche emergency services oriented organization to one that supports every function of service. And, uh, and capability that this installation affords our tenant commands. Uh, and he came in and he learned what that meant. He learned what our responsibilities were to our Marines and really to support the installation, the commander, and all the multiple other functions. Uh, most significantly, probably one of his, his most stressful and, uh, and complex contributions was the support that he provides uh, provided every year to the Marine Corps Marathon. And I know we got Charlie and maybe a few others back here, uh, but that is no easy task. That is a service level Marine Corps, Headquarters Marine Corps level commitment uh, that, that is our greatest, you know, uh, public relations event of the entire year. And he was dead center in the middle of it running operations. Uh, and so, you know, that's just a further testament to his performance, uh, his his competency in what he does as an operations chief uh, and his character and his perseverance to get through all of those challenges. So I thank you for what you've done for this unit specifically, but more importantly over 26 years for our Corps and our country. And with that, I'll turn it over to you, now retired Mass Sergeant Wildridge. First, I got to start off. Today is uh, what a today the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. In. Mm. Couldn't ask for a better day. You sitting on pins and needles a week ago, you know, <laughs> looking up at the sky, I'd be like, Woo, man, you don't want to pull this inside, but I'm here and we're here. So I thank God for this beautiful day. Uh, Colonel Brooks, sir, 
Thank you for being here, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Van Wall, sir. Thank you. And uh, Sir, sir Major. Marines, family, and friends, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna get some admin notes out the way. Out the way first. <laughs> There's a uh, reception that's gonna be held right across here at the field, the uh, at the uh, marathon room. So, so I just want to get that out the way. Uh, I wanted to thank the uh, the band, the color guard, the Marines standing here, and most of all, who put all this together, First Sergeant Martinez. Uh, thank you, First Sergeant Martinez, for your hard work and dedication through this, through this time because sometimes it's no easy feat when you gotta move a uh, ceremony outside. And with that, is, and I, I came in in camis, I wanted to leave out in camis, so, and, and drill was, was one of the hallmark things that I, I picked up in my time. As mentioned, uh, as mentioned, I, my time started, I've been wearing this uniform, you wanna say for 30 years, if you wanna say, uh, I joined, I, I joined uh, JRTC in Hollow Springs High School down in Richmond, Virginia, and I uh, was there for four years. My uh, time commander is here, Jason Richardson. My best friend, we were in RTC together. Um, I want to recognize the, 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 what one of the things I always do, I like to do when I'm putting together something is incorporate family. Because uh, I believe that family is, is a big part of who I am and how I got here and into all the, also those friends because some of my friends I just consider as family as well. I want to thank my uh, my cousin uh, Reverend uh, Haney Thomas, retired Chief Warrant Officer. Thank you sir for the invocation. Um, as you see that I, I, st I embarked on a, on, a, a, on, a, on a mission to recognize all the family in my in, in, in my family that did has service and I, uh, I outlined that out in the uh, in the program and I wanted to make sure that you know that even even though I'm standing up here this is my day but I want to make sure that that my family was recognized as well for their service because some of them has not been recognized for their service because it was so long ago well it's almost time for me to hang up this uniform. Yeah, that is a clock sorry strike now. <laughs> I want to thank, uh, as mentioned, uh, my dad. He he would have been here. Uh, I couldn't think of no other be uh, a closer best friend than my father. Um, unfortunately, he passed back in 2013. But we had a phenomenal experience together when I got peace when I got PCS to California. He was my shotgun partner, driving all the way across country uh, through, the, uh, through the whole time. So I want to make recognition of that. I want to thank uh, my grandmother, because uh, my grandmother, she supported me uh, on, on, uh, on deployments. She, she sent me this mouthwash, and I can't find it, but she sent me this mouthwash. Didn't tell me it needed to be diluted, but this thing was strong. <laughs> and I was on that, and, and I was like, and then, and then she told me, like, you gotta dilute it. But thank you, Grandma, for your support. Uh, to my mom, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it wasn't easy seeing me go away at that, that zero dark 30 in the morning, going down to the MEP station, getting onto the bus, well, going in there because it, then that was it. And then I go and walk into the federal building and then and, and they just disappeared. But I can I can honestly honestly say that the, who I am as a as a man, Marine, and as a person is is, is upon your your teachings, your tutelage, and your support and everything you've done for me over my 26 years of career and my life. To my daughter Jordan. Uh, I'm, one thing I'm going to miss is mentoring Marines, but I will look forward to mentoring your friends. <laughs> when it comes that time. Especially the male persuasion. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, my, my uh, uh, stepson couldn't be here, Liam. Uh, he had school today, but I also want to recognize my stepdaughter here, Kaylee. She's here. Uh, thank you for being here.
and also with my father-in-law and his wife. Thank you for being here. Hey, Aunt Nancy. <laughs> um, I want to recognize also uh, it's, it's in, a, in a bulletin that I couldn't I couldn't be here where I am now without the mentors that I had in the Marine Corps and some of them are here today I want to thank uh, uh, retired Sergeant Major Keith Smith I thank you for your tutelage in our, in our uh, nice conversations that we had, and uh, and I appreciate that. I also want to recognize uh, Master Sergeant, retired Master Sergeant Rick DePeria. Uh, he's he's long past now, but he was one of my senior Marine instructors in uh, in high school, and he's and in in his test in his his character as a Marine has rubbed off on me as throughout my career. I want to thank also uh, my good friend. Uh, retired Gun Sergeant William Broadbent, thank you. You continually to, to support me and give me <laughs> give me knowledge even after after the Marine Corps, but I appreciate that uh, as well. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> um, also, I want to recognize uh, uh, Master Master uh, Stevie Songs. Uh, uh, he was a, a pillar uh, of, of knowledge for me and helped me during my time, especially in Okinawa. I don't think, I don't, I don't know if he uh, was able to be here. Uh, I also want to thank uh, someone who's not here, Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major uh, retired, Mario Fields. Though our tenure was very short, uh, one thing I came in his office at the time, he was a first sergeant, then a 3-8 came in his office and, he's, and I had an issue. He said, so what does the order say? I said, I don't know. Okay, so what does the order say? Like, noted. So, and, and even that, that short period of time has, uh, has stuck with me. Uh, last and not least, my best friend, who started with me in uh, ROTC, retired Master Sergeant Jason Richardson. Thank you for driving up, brother. Man, we started this, started this together didn't end together, but uh, you know, I, I know what you said, you said, uh, uh, I'm going I'm, until the Marine Corps kicks me out. But I understand why you left because that is the reason why I'm moving on into that next same chapter. Finally, my lovely wife, Catherine, Kathy, uh, you was there for me when I stepped off. Uh, our paths separated, but then it brought us back together. And I thank God for that, and, and and the blessing that you have given me with our daughter, with our, our daughter Joy. I can't uh, think of anything best to move on this next chapter with you. Thank you. Eight, P Eight PCS orders, thirteen deployments, twenty-six countries, five MUs, two combat deployments, seven naval vessels, and a and a circ and a trip around the world. Thank you, Marine Corps. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the retiring of the colors, playing of Anchors Away, and the Marines Hymn.
Last chance to play of the day. Aye, aye, got a sword. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's presentation. Please remain seated for the presentation of colors and the watch. Master Sergeant, Farley, A, Woldridge, front and center. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over great institutes of learning. I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, Detail. honor, Hold. truth, and justice. Above, hey. I stand for freedom. I'm confident, I'm arrogant, I'm proud. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher, my colors a little truer. I bow to no one. I'm recognized all over the world. I'm worshiped, I am saluted. I'm respected, I'm revered. I'm loved and I'm feared. I have fought every battle and every war for more than 200 years. Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, the deserts of Africa, Iraq and Afghanistan, the Philippines, Guam, Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Guadalcanal, Peleliu, and a score of places long forgotten by all, but those who were with me. I was there. I led my Marines, I followed them. Most importantly, I watched over them, and they loved me. I was on a small hill in Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired, but my Marines cheered me, and I was proud. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of countries I have helped set free. It does not hurt, for I am invincible. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my own country. And when it is by those with whom I have served in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I have slipped the bonds of the earth and stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space from my vantage point on the moon. I have been a silent witness to all of America's finest hours, but my finest hour comes when I am torn into strips to use as bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. When I fly at half mast to honor my Marines, and while I lie in trembling arms of a green being mother at the graveside of our fallen son or daughter, I am proud. My name is Old Glory. Long may I wave. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please join Master Sergeant Bulger's and family shortly. Please remain seated for a few moments. 26 years ago, this Marine stepped foot on Marine Corps Recruiting Depot, Paris Island. But for the very first time, he was given his first general order to take charge of his post and all government property in view. For 26 years, this Marine has stood his post. While some of us lie asleep at night, this Marine stood his post. While many of us will all attend schools to learn a trade, this Marine stood his post. And yes, before many of us were born, 
this Marine that stood his post. As the storms of war brewing on the horizon, during Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Freedom Sentinel, this Marine has stood his post. 2001, 2002, 2003, 2008, and 2009, this Marine has stood his post. Knowing back home he had his family who needed him, but knew, knew he must stay because he was not properly relieved. For 26 years, this Marine stood his post so that our fellow countrymen, me and you, can sleep safely at night. For 26 years, this Marine was taught to never quit his post until properly relieved. Marine, we're here today to say you stand relieved. Relieved by those you have guided, relieved by those you have led, and relieved by some farmers, warriors. You have now been properly relieved.